Hey everybody, this is Morgan Auger. I'm your independent candidate for the Vancouver School Board. And as you know, today is the election day. And I'm here with someone that many of us already know. I'm Jean Swanson and I'm the COPE candidate, or one of three COPE candidates for City Council with Derek O'Keefe and Ann Roberts. Right, so here we are. It's election day. We're halfway through election day, more or less, or something like this. Our volunteers are all over the city canvassing and campaigning and flying for us. And we're just taking a moment here. Where are we? We're in Jim Diva Plaza here. I see you can see there's the, blow, the, the horn there, like this, and we do a span. There's the restaurant and the street, and the background is Mole Hill down there. And then we go back. And a pigeon just pooed on me. Again? No. Just before? Just before. Well, here there's a lot of pigeons, <laughs> right? We got the seagulls out here too, in this part of the city. Tell me, Jean, why, um, what, what why motivates am I you? Running? Why are you running? I'd like to have a city council that protected renters. I'd like to have a city council that ended homelessness, which it could do if it got revenue from a mansion tax. Um, and I'd like to have a city council that really made Sanctuary City effective by training all its workers and, uh, yeah, and built lots of social housing with the, renter, with the uh, mansion tax after we ended homelessness with it. So you want to end homelessness with a mansion tax yes. and get city council to be effective. And protect renters. And protect There's renters. so many renters, especially in the West End, that are being run evicted in Kisilano, all over the city. They're being run evicted. They're being kicked out of their own homes by owners that want to make housing into a commodity rather than a home. And they need protection. They desperately need protection. So, you know, I, uh, I was run evicted out of a home two homes ago mm -hmm. and uh, before that I was on one of these horrible fixed term contracts oh, where I had to renegotiate my lease every year mm -hmm. with two weeks notice with a family of four at the time that was that was terrible really really unfair and then now I'm finally living in protected housing I've managed to get housing from a uh, society uh, I, I live at Mole Hill and thanks to that I I finally consider myself no longer vicarious, you know, like I'm no longer vulnerable to, uh, to eviction. People who get into social housing feel like they've found the, won the lottery. We need a lot more of it, and we could do that if we haven't had the revenue to do it. If the province of the feds won't give the city the money, they should give the city the power to raise the taxes to do it ourselves. I, I agree. And you know me, as, as you know, I'm running for the school board. Uh, I, you know, the things that motivate me in school boards, of course, is uh, making sure that we get the money to the end, to, 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 uh, to, to the, the, the endpoint service providers, the teachers, right? We need to provide the tools for the teachers to make sure that they, uh, they actually have enough money to do the job. So, you know, education funding is fixed. It comes from the province. We always have to advocate for more money for services, of course, and that's uh, something that school boards need to do. But fundamentally, in the end, we need to take that money and make sure that we prioritize getting it into the classroom, especially for the special needs students. Uh, that's a major issue. So COPE has two amazing school board candidates, mm. uh, Diana Day, who's indigenous, and Barb Parrott, who used to be a teacher. And uh, they're both really pushing to get meals in all the schools for the kids, so nobody, no kids will be hungry. And to give kids all the support they need so that they can graduate give vulnerable kids all the support they need so they can graduate from high school with all the prerequisites to move on. They're really strong on that. Absolutely. And uh, I remember Diana Day and I served together on a district parent advisory council on DPAC mm -hmm. that I became uh, the president of eventually. And uh, it was really nice to have her on that. She has a, she's a, got a strong voice for matters. You know, pe there are people who have ideas about issues that most of us don't understand. Uh, you know, I find myself in that situation, being that person sometimes, and Diana Day finds herself in that situation yeah. too, speaking up for indigenous uh, needs, and that's uh, it's really important to have inclusion and diversity at the forefront. And she really wants to work for an indigenous high school. Too. She's that's mentioned that, that's difference. right. Yeah, well, you know, we need safe and inclusive schools for our students that are culturally sensitive, no matter who they are. There's, there's no excuse for this. So uh, vote for Diana and Barb. And me as well. And vote for Jean. <laughs> And, and Ann and Derek. And Ann and Derek. All <laughs> and right. John Irwin and get Gwen Beesbrick for Park Sport. For Park Sport. Okay, well, I'm an independent. I only have one ask. <laughs> <laughs>
vote for me. Okay, and vote for truly progressive candidates. Make sure, you know, call them to account on all levels. Make sure they're actually as progressive as it says on paper. And you've got till 8 o'clock tonight, so be sure to vote. That's right, and some of the smaller stations are, are better to, to vote at than the big centers because they're sometimes less inclusive, which is a shame, but they're also actually uh, more lightly loaded. Okay, I'm Morgan Auger, candidate for Vancouver School Board, vote independent. I'm Jean Swanson, can hope candidate for city council. Jean, it was a pleasure seeing you again. Nice to see you. Okay, bye everybody, and you had better vote, otherwise it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs>